Here's a standard Stifler exciter. The transistor, the two chokes, the tuning coil on the base. What I'm going to drive with this exciter is a fairly large motor, 65 milliamps at 8 volts. Nine LEDs hooked in three groups, three each in parallel. I'm sorry, three each in series. You can see the entire load circuits being driven off of one lead out of the sec choke. This happens to be a 22 micro Henry. No longer am I using the large sec coils or the cores. You can see the white wire going over to the first AV plug. That first AV plug, one side of it hooks to the motor, the other hooks to another choke, which feeds the next successive AV plug running the first set of uh, white LEDs. You can plainly see here that we've got one wire running that motor. There's the second AV set, three LEDs, a choke, an AV set, three LEDs, another choke, two more diodes, and the last three white LEDs. So what I want to do is power this thing up and show you how the motor runs. That's of primary interest here. Many of the followers of this series have been driving numerous amounts of LEDs, but here you can see the motor. Take a look at this guy. Look at the brightness also of the white LEDs. We'll stop the motor, apply power, start it back up again. And as you can see, this entire chain is being driven off of that one white wire out of the SEC exciter. This is one of the next steps in the SEC series. Uh, we actually had to put something together here to show that there's something being done that we can constitute as work other than just lighting some LEDs which many people claim is just a function of the RF coming out of the exciter. Obviously this motor is not going to work on 27 megahertz or 100 megahertz or 300 megahertz. So you've got to rethink the whole thing when you look at this.